How to use Sling, Sling tutorial for beginners for scheduling. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll talk you through how you can use this particular platform called Sling. Well, basically, it's a scheduler platform. It's a work scheduling platform. So for starters, just go to getsling.com. And then after that, you'll be able to see this website right over here where you can basically set up your account. You can set up your account by clicking this button right here and then clicking this button by entering your email first and then click get started or you can immediately click or sign up with google right away and if you already have an account of course just click on login right here so now let me just go ahead and click this button because i think it's the easiest and fastest to sign up and once you click that a pop-up window where you need to like um, provide access or to allow access of sling to your google account now let me just click and approve this all right now once we're done logging in via Google, what you have to do next is to verify, I must say. Yes, let's wait for it to load because this isn't supposed to be showing up already. Okay, now it's loading up. From what I've experienced, I think you have to verify your account. Now let's see if I already received an email here. Okay, all right. Nope. I didn't receive an email that asks me to verify my account. But once you're done connecting your Google or your any email account to this platform right here, what it asks you to do is now to tell about your company or to tell about your business. So right here is your company name. Let me just input in Yoke. The industry would be like food industry. Let me just go ahead and try to put in cafe. Number of employees, it's really up to you if uh, how many employees you have, but it supports up to 501 or more. That's a lot. Now, for my cafe, I'll just uh, go ahead and input in 1 to 20 employees. And once you're done, click on next. Next to set up is the positions. Now, we have different positions for a cafe, right? So let me just input in barista right here or barista or bartender same let me just input in manager manager and then of course i'll be having like a chef or a cook and then let me input in one chef and a sous chef or a cook next okay so after you've input in the position you'll automatically see here that they're listed under this column right here this is where you input your employee's name and then match it with the corresponding positions that you already inputted before this tab right here now let's input in the barista let's try and say hmm, liam miller now next is let me input in employee two and then just get employee three you can add in their email address now or you can add them in later. Now let's start scheduling by clicking this button right here. And we are in. You can see here on the topmost bar are different tabs that are separate to these tabs right here. Of course, this is the main tab right here. And this is like the secondary tab where you can access a lot more features from this tab now let's check out the dashboard apart from the dashboard we also have the scheduling tab tasks messages news feed reports time clock basically it works just like any other scheduling software out there but under dashboard this is what you see there is also another dashboard tab separate here and this is where you see notifications and a roster okay so uh, the roster is supposed to show like the schedule of work that is needed to be done and it will look like this basically i guess this will look like cards that you can just drag all over the place now if you want to try and see that click on build schedule right here and then it will let you build your schedule right under the schedule tab over here now let's go back to dashboard first and check out what's here now, it shows you cards of different uh, stuff like employees. It shows you here an overview of how many employees you have, the positions that they play or the positions that, you know, at play. Next is the location where you operate. Um, you can add in another location right here just by clicking add location right there. 
And of course, if you have formed um, internal groups of your employees, this is where you sort them out. This is where you deliver or divide tasks, it depends on what group they are in. And you can also see tags right here, announcement, labor cost. And finally, we have the settings card right there. Okay, now what else is in here? Let's check out the schedule. This is the lifeline of your um, your profile or your account or the app itself. This is where you input work that is needed to be done. The calendar looks like this. It's basically like a timeline of work. Now, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they are all sorted out like a column right here. So if you want to add in a new shift or a new task, you can click in the plus sign that appears when you hover over the schedule. So what I'm doing right now is hovering over the schedule and you can see here a plus sign and just click that and once you click that you'll be able to add in different uh shifts or yeah different shifts it can be a custom or a template or it can also be a time off now the template is useful if you have created a template this is for recurring tasks or for recurring shifts i should highly suggest you make this one just to minimize your time actually um using the app actually inputting informations that are recurring that are you know happening day by day just create a template and what you can do is just click them on and just like distribute to what day is it going to be is it supposed to be done so this is what you see here under schedule tab next is the tasks all right so besides schedule is the task right here so it says you attach tasks to shifts and improve efficiency. Clarify your team's responsibilities during each shift to ensure employees are aligned on their to-dos time. Okay, so aside from schedule, you can also add in tasks here. You can also add in templates. So basically, once you created a task, it's just easy to add them within the schedule tab over here. And there's also a separate tab for messaging. Now, there are two features you can do or you can you, you can access under messaging. It's uh, is it either for a group conversation and it can also be for a private conversation. Next is the news feed. All right, the, the news feed, I think this is internal so you and your employees can see this. Set up pages on your news feed for any purpose you'd like, share updates, files, pictures, or videos. Maybe you can share in accomplishments of each employees or each team so that, you know, they'll be motivated to work, stuff like that. Next is the reports tab right here. Now, understand your data by pulling reports for a day, week, or month, or for customizable periods. Make informed adjustments for the future and drive your business forward. So if you want to generate reports, just try and input the data right over here and it will show you stats. You can filter them as well via the, you know, uh, week period, uh, time ended period like this. It can be for weeks, months, uh, payroll, quarter, year, or custom. It's really up to you. And the last tab right on this platform is called the time clock, which is next to the reports right here. Now, what does this do? It easily track employee hours and export payroll reports for seamless payroll processing. Now, this is where you add in the work hours that are needed to be filled and it can track employees and the work or the worth of work they've done for the day or for the week. Now, you can choose to enable it by clicking this one right over here. Now, once you've enabled that, it's already right here under settings, time clock. And then let's enable it by toggling this on. And you can also click on automatic clackout. And if there's a rounding going on, you can um, choose here how many ra roundings, like, like how, yeah, the intervals, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Late arrival is also here. You can toggle this, all of them. If you want to, what else? Timesheets, restrictions, and geofencing, stuff like that. Basically, after you're done setting up the time clock, just go ahead and click on save right here. And then once you click save, you're pretty much done with it.
Okay, so that's it for this platform, you guys. Get Sling. What do you think about it compared to other scheduler platforms? Let me know down in the comments below. And that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.